In this video, we're going to show you how to look up the minimum controls on your flight sim gear so that you know where those buttons are or where those sliders are. Uh, we'll also show you how to program them. So if it's in a place that you don't like, you'd like to put it somewhere else, you can go ahead and do that. In another video, we'll go over the minimum controls and explain what exactly they do. Before we get started, if you do enjoy this content, please support the channel by doing one of three things. First, which is absolutely free, subscribe. Second, go into the description, click on Keyboard Flight Academy, and join Keyboard Flight Academy, where we teach you how to fly as real to life as possible in your simulator. Last, click on any of the Amazon links below. Uh, you don't have to buy the actual product that's being listed. Uh, if you have something in mind, click on the link, search for it, and purchase it. This actually still helps us out, and it can be literally anything. Now let's get back to the video. The first thing you need to understand is the mouse. Uh, this is a very important aspect. I don't know how they did it in Xbox. I personally am not playing on Xbox. So if you know how that works in the comments below, go ahead and say whether you need a mouse or not. I imagine you probably don't, but maybe you do. I don't know how they got around that. Um, but you, recently in the newest up, update, there's been a few people that have found that their mouse was not working correctly. And I found that was true for me as well. So. The thing that you're going to want to do is make sure that these buttons here are programmed correctly. Uh, you can change it up if you want, but this is how I've done it. Primary action is left click, secondary action is right click, and tertiary action is middle click. And then the cockpit interaction increase is wheel up, cockpit interaction decrease is wheel down. I'll show you what that looks like right over here uh, and go over all the other aspects of the mouse. Okay, so the first one that we're gonna go over is the secondary, and that's the right click. So if you hold down the right click and move your mouse, you can look through the cockpit. Uh, this is very important to change the view. And then if you wanna zoom in, it's rolling the wheel forward. Zooming out is rolling the wheel back. The next thing uh, we're gonna talk about is the tertiary button, which is uh, middle click. If you click it, then you don't have to hold down the uh, right click button. You just move it wherever you want and then click on the middle click again and uh, it releases. Now the uh, primary button is the left click and this is one of the more important ones. You can click on any of the clickable items in the cockpit and it will move it about. Um, as well as if you click on a dial like this, you'll see this is going to move the numbers here. If I pull it to the right, then it'll go to the right. If I pull it to the left, then it'll go to the left. And uh, you can also click down on items. You can see I'm moving the heading bug right now by clicking and pulling. But you can also click down on this. So if you click down on the primary, with, which is left click, and then click down on the secondary, which is right click, it will actually center it. So if any of these dials have a push down aspect, then you can click the left click, then right click, and it will push it down. Uh, this is another one where it moves it. Uh, if I were to click down on it, it would center, but right now it's not on a VOR, so uh, it's not necessarily going to work that way. But that's really all you have to know about the mouse. There aren't very many other aspects to it that uh, are important. Um, if you have any questions about it, ask in the comments below. I'll try to answer those. Let's go ahead and move on. All right, outside of the mouse, these are the buttons that you need to be aware of to be able to use the Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, first and foremost, pitch, roll, and yaw. That's going to be on your stick or yoke um, or on your controller, depending on if you're using that. Next, you wanna be able to have some views. After that, throttle, then brakes, then flaps, then trim, landing gear. And then the rest after that uh, only apply to certain aircrafts like the uh, propeller, mixture. Most aircrafts do have mixture. Uh, speed brakes, those are on bigger aircrafts. Left brake, right brake, and parking brake, every aircraft has, but you don't necessarily need it to get by. You can click on the uh, parking brake, and the left and right uh, can be replaced by the simple button brakes, which will do both of them. Okay, to get into your controls, you're going to want to hit escape, come over to controls option. The first thing you want to know is that at the top here, it's going to list everything that's plugged in for you. You can see I have a keyboard, a mouse, a trim wheel, a throttle quadrant, and at the very end is going to be a stick once this actually loads in. 
But when you do program items in, if you are working with the stick, you wanna make sure that you have the stick highlighted like I do here. As we go through these controls, if you don't know where the button is for you, you can actually search it by searching by name and whatever uh, the name is that we show you, you can search it here. So let's say you're looking for the brakes. Where exactly is that on my stick? I'll click brakes and you can see I have toggle parking brakes as button one, which is right there. And I have brakes as button two, which is right there. Now, if you don't like what it is and you want to change it, you can go ahead and click here. Uh, you can do clear input, which would get it to go away. Uh, and then you can click and add the button that you want. I want to keep it, so I'm just going to click button two, and then you click validate. And there you go, button two is now there. Uh, so that's how you get rid of certain buttons and add new ones. One thing I will say is that you don't want two uh, functions uh, on different controllers. I'll explain that for you. You can see here this could be used as the throttle, but I also have this throttle quadrant where the black is the throttle. You don't want both of those programmed as throttle because they'll cancel each other out and do some wonky stuff. So I want it to be on this black one and not on this one here. So if I had that, I would want to go here and look for throttle and look through and see if that was set. I have actually already um, gotten rid of it. It would be throttle access, I believe. So it used to be that it was like this. So if I searched it and I saw, okay, now this is moving like that, I wanna get rid of that. So I'm do going to do clear current input. And if for some reason you're clicking buttons and it's not working correctly, I would go through each and every one of these and uh, search that particular name and see if it's uh, programmed on two different items. It shouldn't be that way. So let's go ahead and talk about uh, pitch, roll, and yaw first. That's always going to be on your stick or your yoke, or if you're using the controller, I believe it's the left uh, thumbstick. And we're going to go to assigned flight control surfaces and the primary. So rudder, I'm actually uh, moving this left and right. And that's how you're going to control the aircraft on the ground. Uh, let me turn on the camera so I can kind of explain that for you. So you can see here, this is going to be the rudder action or the yaw. That's going to make us turn while we're on the ground. Elevator, that's going to be pitching up or pitching down is going to be like that. And uh, ailerons, which is going to be turning in the air, is going to be turning like that. The other option for the rudder access or yaw while you're turning on the ground is using your rudder pedals. And uh, rudder pedals is this motion like this. When you have your right foot forward, that means you're turning right. When you have your left foot forward, that means you're turning left. Don't mistake that for pushing down. These are actually the brakes. So right brake, left brake, both brakes. Turning is actually going like this and like that. And this is how you do it in a real airplane. So using your pedals is great practice. Next thing on the list are the views. Views are really important. So you can look out the different windows and look at your different uh, panels in the cockpit. You're gonna to wanna to go through and make sure that you have all of these set. You'll notice that there are uh, multiple buttons uh, for multiple different things like cockpit quick view left and uh, external quick view left. Uh, as well as previous instrument view. So there will be multiple functions programmed to one particular button. I like to have these on POV switches like this. So you can push this forward and uh, backward, left, right, and even at a 45 as well. And so go through, make sure that you have all of these buttons set. I'm not gonna read each and every one of these out. Go ahead and pause the video and look through yours. Next on the list is your throttle quadrant. And the throttle is a uh, minimum requirement. You do have to have that set somewhere. Uh, right now I have it set as the black one right here. But if you do have multiple sliders like this where you can slide it to a particular point, then the next most important would be the mixture, which is the red. And then after that, the next most important is the prop or the propeller, which is uh, set as the blue. Now, if you did only have a stick such as this, then set that as the throttle. You don't need to set prop or mixture. Those two uh, you can do on your own while you're in the cockpit pulling it back and forward. But the throttle, you can't do it while flying it. It would be very, very difficult. 
Next up are the brakes. And we already talked about the rudder, so you should remember that when you push uh, one foot forward, the other one goes back, that's the uh, rudder access. But you can also press down with your toes and uh, kind of like a car gas pedal, that's going to be the brakes. And there is a left brake and a right brake uh, on either foot. So you press them both down to brake, or you can press one or the other to help yourself turn. Now, if you don't have that, then you can set it on your stick. The minimum thing that you need uh, is just the brakes button. I don't know why it's cut off here, but brakes. And that's button two for me. It does want to be on uh, your stick or very close by because you will be trying to land and as you land you need to hit those brakes. Now while you're taxiing you can have the left and the right. You can see I have left here, right here, and the parking brakes here. Those aren't required uh, but it is nice. It helps you taxi a little bit better so if you do have extra buttons go ahead and program it. All you really need is this brakes button right here. Next on the list are the flaps, the speed brakes, and uh, the landing gear. So let's start with the flaps. You can see here I have decreased flaps right here and increased flaps right here. It's just going to be two buttons that are uh, on top of each other. And it can be on your stick, it can be on your throttle quadrant or wherever. I have them set for my throttle quadrant. This is to bring flaps up, this is to bring flaps down. Uh, and then it works the same way for uh, spoilers or speed brakes. There's extend spoilers or retract spoilers. I have extend spoilers as the bottom button and retract spoilers as the top button. And this also works the same way on landing gear. You can see gear up or gear down. I have gear down on the bottom and gear up on the top. The final item to go over is the trim wheel. And as you can see, I have a trim wheel here. This is very nice to have. However, they are uh, few and far in between. You really can't find any on Amazon. You really have to go into the weeds in, in Google trying to find one or 3D printing one yourself, which is really unfortunate because a trim wheel is something that's very important um, in my mind. There is uh, the other option, which you can have two buttons set for it, one right above the other. And uh, I did put that here. Let me go to elevator trim. You can see right here, 10 and five, which uh, are these two for me. So uh, the bottom one is going to be nose up and the top one is going to be nose down. That's kind of how the trim will work. So you keep it the same for the buttons that you have there. So those are the two different ways that you can set your trim. This covers the minimum controls and the additional controls that you can have on there. You have pitch, roll, yaw, views, throttle, brakes, flaps, trim, and landing gear. You should prioritize those ones. And if you have buttons or sliders left over, then you can program in the propeller, mixture, speed brakes, left brake, right brake, and parking brake. This is a two-part series. This first one was just finding the buttons or controls that go over each and every one of these things like pitch roll, yaw, mixture, brakes, things of that sort. The next one is actually going to be going into what each and every one of these do. For instance, flaps, uh, speed brakes, propeller, mixture, maybe you don't know what they do. We'll go over what they do in this next video. If you do enjoy this content, please support the channel by doing one of three things. First, which is absolutely free, subscribe. Second, go into the description, click on Keyboard Flight Academy, and join Keyboard Flight Academy, where we teach you how to fly as real to life as possible in your simulator. Last, click on any of the Amazon links below. Uh, you don't have to buy the actual product that's being listed. Uh, if you have something in mind, click on the link, search for it, and purchase it. This actually still helps us out and it can be literally anything.